Hello, this is World University and Schools News and Question and Answer on Monday, June 20th, 2022 at 10 a.m. in San Francisco Bay Area, 10 a.m. Pacific Time, California. Greetings as we wait to see if people will join us in this open question and answer uh, opportunity for conversation. I'd like to share a little news with you about World University and School. Uh, three momentous developments. Uh, for one, um, the legal entities, the two legal entities for WUAS in California, uh, the one first exempt uh, World University and School Legal Entity in California, and the two, the for-profit general stock company, WUAS Corporation Legal Entity in California, are both operational and together in a sense. This is the first time this has occurred since uh, we became a nonprofit World University and School of California legal entity in 2010, and a WS Corporation for profit general stock company in 2017 as a um, California entity. And so, the, in talking with the California Franchise Tax Board uh, in two different departments, two different people on Friday morning before a monthly business meeting on Saturday. June 18th, 2022, uh, we learned that having submitted the tax forms for both of these entities recently, uh, paid some taxes on both of these wings, that they're now operational and together in a sense. There's much uh, creative potential between these two wings for World University and School, and not only in California, but also in our planning for major online universities in 200 countries on the exempt nonprofit World University and School of California legal entity side, and in our planning for WUAS educational services stores, bookstores, computer stores, robot stores, uh, hospital technologies distribution centers in all 200 countries and in their main and official languages. Uh, the first California legal entity for World University and School, uh, the nonprofit exempt California legal entity for World University and School, uh, relates to the federal uh, 501c3 tax exempt World University and School legal entity, a third legal entity. So the momentous news is that both of the California legal entities for WUAS, one, World University and School Exempt Legal Entity, and two, uh, the for-profit general stock company, WS Corporation Legal Entity, are now interoperational and uh, together in a sense. So the second uh, item of news I'd like to share with you is that the World University and School Migration Journey uh, to Wikibase Cloud, Wikimedia, with Wikidata is complete, uh, amazing, and wonderful. This will, the Wikibase.cloud uh, for World University and School, you could think of as kind of management software, if you will, for Wikidata in its 300 languages as a, even a backend, Wikidata is a backend, and World University and School is in WES Media Wiki as a front end. So Wikibase.cloud is the software in between. You could think of it that way. Uh, glad to have this migration to Wikibase Cloud for WUAS complete. Uh, this is something that World University and School has been uh, moving toward since uh, 2015 when uh, we began to partner with Wikidata and for co-development. 
So item three is with this world university and schools migration journey now to wikibase.cloud now done. And with about 75 online CC4 OCW.MIT.EDU centric wiki universities begun at the nation states wiki subject page for world university and school wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash nation states where each is going to become a major online university and where each is planned in countries main languages for free online bachelor degrees phd degrees law degrees md degrees and IB high school degrees. On to the other 125 universities still to add to this uh, nation states wiki subject page, thus creating further online great universities that will offer free to students degrees. Uh, momentous and thank you to uh, the California Franchise Tax Board and uh, Wikibase.cloud, uh, Wikimedia Germany, and glad that uh, the nation states, world university and school um, as universities will begin to grow now. So that's news, uh, big news that I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'll just briefly uh, share some news from the agenda for World University and Schools Open Monthly Business Meeting, which met on this past Saturday, June 18th, 2022, uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific time for an hour only. Um, first, uh, World University and School continues to offer free online bachelor degrees, maybe four years long free online PhD degrees based emerging from CC4 licensed open courseware. Second, uh, World University and School is seeking to matriculate uh, recent graduates from the Quaker Sidwell Friends School in Washington, DC as a cohort beginning 9-1-2022. Uh, if that's possible and is waiting to hear back from Friends Association for Higher Education, FAHE, a uh, Quaker organization that uh, engages Quaker colleges. Most uh, Quaker colleges do not have uh, PhD programs or law degree programs or uh, medical degree programs. So World University and School may be able to complement this we also want to offer free online bachelor degree programs, uh, and hopefully the Quaker Sidwell Friends School students who might not yet have chosen a college for the autumn and who might be interested in online free degrees uh, will potentially matriculate at World University and School this autumn, September 1st, 2022. Uh, I'd also like to uh, uh, let, uh, as another news item, uh, that it's possible that coding teams, programming teams, are emerging for World University and School, such as a Google for Education coding team, possibly. Uh, Larry Veland in monthly business meeting uh, sounded, he seemed to say that uh, Google could take care of doing the open courseware for the degrees. Uh, I'm not sure who he was talking with before, if it, anyone. Uh, could he have been in communication with Peter Norvig even? Uh, big question marks. But uh, in addition to possibly Google coding teams, it looks like uh, possibly further coding teams might be emerging uh, with regard to the wikibase.cloud migration and potentially regarding their 300 languages uh, and Wikimedia Germany and similar. So Google, I think, has 133 now official languages and uh, World University and School wants to add uh, or 
code for all 7,151 known living languages, about 6,900 more languages beyond uh, Wikimedia, wikibase.cloud, Wikidata is 300 languages. Uh, so the World University and School is also um, exploring how to, uh, as a research focus, uh, potentially develop a realistic virtual earth, even for regenerative medicine, and beginning to ask questions of, can we turn the clock back on aging uh, with uh, regenerative medicine at the cellular and molecular levels? And could World University and School further facilitate this, possibly in collaboration with the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine based in Oakland? <coughs> and there's a um, video of an interesting uh, panel discussion this past Thursday, I think, uh, in the World University and School Agenda and News, if you'd like to see this. And the idea would be uh, with something like Open Targets, which is uh, software in the Google Cloud that a Cambridge University team and similar, both the public and private projects combined, uh, are developing in, newly in conjunction with Pfizer uh, to um, could World University and School collaborate with Open Targets uh, as they seek potentially new drug opportunities at the molecular le level even uh, with Google search algorithms in a sense uh, in even uh, Google Cloud, a realistic virtual earth for genetics. Think Google Street View with Time Slider, Time Slider being important. Google Maps, Google Earth, and TensorFlow AI translate for many researchers uh, from many languages. And again, at the cellular and uh, molecular levels, World University and School seeks to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number, and potentially also for avatar bot electronic medical records. So could people's uh, genomes be part of their avatar bot electronic medical records? And even having had their genetic sequencing done, uh, become data for further research on both uh, aging reversal genetic engineering, as well as longevity genetic engineering. So could World University and School um, in a new WUAS Longevity Genetics Institute uh, begin to explore both physically and virtually, digitally, how to double the lifespans of Drosophila flies uh, in the laboratory uh, stem-wise, perhaps by adding genes back into a Drosophila fly, uh, an aging Drosophila fly, per George Church, Harvard, and MIT professor of genetics observation that genetic function declines as an organism ages. And um, the goal at research rise would be to learn how and what genetic rejuvenating genetics world university and school might add back into drosophila flies in the lab even to make them live uh, immortally uh, would it be through a spray and would they ingest this or would it uh, move through the cells of their body. Um, all interesting research prospects. And could we apply this as we model this digitally, virtually, to these other five organisms for doubling lifespan, age span, doubling age span? So the other five organisms being 
besides Drosophila fly, uh, honeybees and chickens. These three species all have the potential to fly, interesting for modeling their genomes virtually and for the similarities between genetic flight between these three. Uh, and also with mice and with dogs and with humans. Uh, interesting possibilities for um, further exploring doubling lifespan, doubling age span, both uh, genomically modeling it in virtual environments, such as a realistic virtual earth for genetics, such as open targets in the Google Cloud, and physically as well. Uh, and there's a conversation between those two spheres with uh, the data growing enormously um, as these, uh, this research develops. So a little bit further, um, new, uh, some, a few more news items. Um, one of the questions World University and School is exploring in, is developing a, an academic medical center for World University and School that would be in uh, also a realistic virtual earth, think Google Street View with Time Slider, and how we might collaborate with also a hospital in Uganda, Southwest Uganda, uh, outside the small city or town of Ibanda, Uganda, uh, could we collaborate further for even a realistic virtual earth for surgery, telerobotic surgery, and in California too, and all from a Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Maps, Google Earth, uh, TensorFlow AI, uh, perspectives or platforms. Um, World University and School is also seeking to develop uh, humanoid robotics. And as an authorized carrier of three Lego robotics kits, um, Mindstorms EV3, uh, the new Spike Prime, and we do 2.0, uh, could we begin to even further a, a, a Lego robotics, Lego brick standard, potentially in collaboration with Toyota Robotics. For example, it's amazing THR3 humanoid robot which I think became fully functional in 2017. And its joints, it's very human-like, and the joints are like human physical joints uh, between bones in human bodies. And also with their master maneuvering system. So could World University and School for our WES home robotics uh, send Lego robotics kits that we're an authorized carrier of to people's homes? And could we uh, plan and develop collaboration also with Toyota, mas the master maneuvering system, a human sits in a chair and uh, helps to program and code the THR3 humanoid robot that Toyota has developed. Uh, and that, there's a learning conversation in that. Could we develop the master maneuvering system for Lego robotics, for WUAS home robotics? And even with WUAS brainwave headsets. So a, a matriculating student at World University and School sits at home, puts on a brainwave headset. Looks like sometimes some of them look like dreadlocks, others are headbands. Um, and uh, also in this master maneuvering system can maneuver the, the limbs, the arms and the legs of the robot, the THR3 robot in the Toyota sense, but could we do this with Lego robotics that students make? 
Lego robots that WS students make. And for programming them and beginning to learn programming uh, and even potentially um, thinking and uh, in terms of humanoid robotic emergent brains, could we use a brainwave headset on a human in a master maneuvering system in WS home robotics uh, to begin to explore coding humanoid robots that our students make out of Lego bricks, Lego robotics kits. So that's, uh, there's much, uh, there, are more, there are more news items that I would uh, share with you, but I encourage you to look at the uh, video from the open monthly business meeting on Saturday, as well as uh, potentially read the agenda and news. And I'm going to send out also the minutes for this June 18th, 2022 monthly business meeting fairly soon. Uh, read those as well. And uh, until next time, um, next Monday, the 27th of June, uh, I hope you have a good week. I'm going to post this WUIS news and question and answer video to the youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H uh, channel. Uh, for more information about World University in School, go to twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H as well as the W-U-I-S press on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash W-U-A-S P-R-E-S-S. And uh, if you have questions or are interested in matriculating uh, as an individual student, uh, potentially with, possibly with a, a cohort of students coming from Sidwell Friends, uh, high school recent graduates, uh, email meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org. Worlduniversityandschool.org is the website for World University and School. Uh, until next Monday, I'm Scott McLeod. Bye for now. See you soon.